The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit the angels and your higher self dr jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that'll strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition now here's your host dr jen royster hi everyone welcome to the show i'm dr jen and we have a really cool topic today of course we always work with the angels but we're going to focus on one in particular today who is archangel zadkiel and this is a great angel to explore today because it this angel can help you find your freedom and last week we talked about choosing to be free and the energy that's flowing in march it just resonates with what zadkiel can bring and help you with. Now, um, for those that are in the angel retreat at 1 p.m. today, we will continue, but we will go into connecting and working with that connection with Zadkiel. That's for the members, that's at one o'clock. In this show, we're gonna explore who this angel is and a little bit about how this angel can work with you. So um, there's a lot to share and there's a lot to just kind of be aware of as we learn to work with the angels. So it's really, really good stuff. First of all, this angel is, it has, this angel has an uplifting vibration. It's a beautiful angel when you want to transmute negative vibrations to positive light. Um, This angel is also associated with like the violet flame. If you are familiar with that, that's, um, a lot of times in, uh, we use that as a, the, it's, it's like transmuting, transmuting it. What am I trying to say? You meditate and you just focus at this, this beautiful violet flame will just transmute anything negative and purify it. Uh, this angel is associated with that color, that violet color, that beautiful color of the amethyst stone good stone to work with if you if you like working with crystals with this angel. So there's a lot here that Zadkiel can bring to assist us right now. And I love that because we have a lot going on and, you know, we're trying to trust that we can open up to things and then we're trying to be discerning with what needs to leave our life and things like that. So Archangel Zadkiel radiates, okay, he just radiates love, forgiveness, forgiveness, whether you need to do the forgiving or you want to be forgiven, that kind of, it, he radiates, works with that mercy, okay, it's, it's, it's kind of like that, oh, wow, you know, just taking all the pain away kind of a thing. That's what I, I feel, but it's a freedom within, okay, it's the inner freedom, And just joy, love. I mean, if you were to transmute all this negative weight of energy that is pulling you down, it makes perfect sense. makes perfect sense that you can feel joy and love because you don't have all the other stuff weighing you down to make you second guess it or to doubt it or to focus on what you don't want. Because we're in a big manifesting time right now where we're manifesting much quicker and what we're focusing on is bringing into our reality what we experience. So for a lot of people, and I mean, I have to you know keep an eye on it too, but if you're brand new to this, you feel like, how am I gonna not focus on what I'm concerned about or worried about? Well, worry is fear. And as we're raising our vibration, Fear lessens its grip. Now, if that doesn't feel free, I don't know what does. Hear that again. As we raise our vibration, 
it releases the grip of fear. Fear fades as you raise your vibration. So why not work on raising your vibration? Because fear is a lower vibration and it just keeps you locked up. That's what makes you feel like you've lost your freedom. So, you know, there's a lot here that Zadkiel can bring to the table. Some other things about Zadkiel is what does his name mean? You know, all of those angels have a meaning to their name and his name means the righteousness of God. That's what the name means. And, uh, you know, he helps you. He, we, let's talk about that forgiveness section first. He helps you to release, to absolutely just let go of not forgiving yourself for one. That's a good place to start when it comes to forgiveness. That just not forgiving yourself, not, not letting it go about something that you, you just won't let go of or, you know, that kind of thing. And then once you, you know, you realize, wait, I'm not who I was when all that happened. Then you start to find your way to forgiveness and forgiveness of others, you know, um, they're in the same boat, really, you know, if they are, you know, and you can't change other people, that's for them to work on themselves. But forgiveness is a tough one that keeps us imprisoned to where we don't feel our freedom. So Zadkiel, you see, would be good for this energy that's coming in right now. Absolutely. Just a sigh of relief, really a sigh of relief. So he helps you to strengthen your connection with the divine. That's kind of nice. If you know, you want to feel that spiritual connection and we are spiritual beings living this physical life right now. So when we, when we really start to engage in, wait a minute, we're spiritual beings living in this experience, not the other way around. It starts to open things up more to where you're aligning with your soul, your soul purpose, your, just your soul, where, why you're here. You don't even have to worry about what the purpose is if you align and be true to your heart, be true to your soul, because your soul knows exactly the way for you. And there is no fear when that is leading the way versus all the fret, worry, and, you know, trying to control it all. We're practicing a lot of going with the flow and we will continue to practice going with the flow here. So we have this and a lot to share with you about this whole topic here. And just some messages from Zadkiel is the focus of the show today. So let me take a moment and go over and say hello. If you are watching our live streams or you want to watch the video live streams, we have two streams. Um, I'm streaming from YouTube and Transformation Talk Radio, our network, they're streaming on Facebook Live. So they're over there with that one and I've shared that over there. Um, and you can, you can send them in. Uh, Carter, the producer over at the station, he'll help me if anything comes in over there because I can't see all those screens. I don't have enough display room for all of those screens. So he'll let me know if something comes up over there. And hello to everyone in YouTube. It's good to see you guys. We have a great crowd that uh, joins us over there. I also have that information on my website at jenroyster.com. That's J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. And hello to everyone that's just listening to the audio. Good old traditional radio is always going to be fantastic. You can take it along with you anywhere you go. Now, for those that are interested, you might want to go check out the Angel Retreat. The Angel Retreat is a members only where I add exclusive content. In addition, the Angel Retreat supports and helps me provide the show for you. Um, and also, it's more of like an, a membership where we're learning, we're adding things. We have a community over there and we do live streaming. We have angel readings that we paint that, that we have another one coming up soon guys we have a live Q&A today that we will go into connecting with this angel so if you're interested or you want to go check that out I have links right there on my YouTube and you can just go right to my website and find it 
So we have a caller. I will bring that caller on when we come back from a break. So hang on, caller. Hello to everyone in YouTube. Let's see who do we have. We have Shadana, David, Kelly, Robin, Judy, Jody, and Yuri. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Good to see you guys there. And David, I'm seeing where you're mentioning um, and you're talking about what, what you were smelling the other day or that constant smell with the cinnamon rolls and sweetbread. You know, that's a, that's a beautiful one. I've heard that before, actually, where people are smelling that. And it's a very positive, comforting love scent. I mean, I don't eat sweets because that's just a little rough on my system personally, but the smell of those things cooking, mm. I mean, what does that bring to your heart, you know? That's a beautiful thing to smell when you're having that connection. So I wanted to just say, that's awesome. I smiled when I saw that. I thought that was beautiful. Now, for everyone that wants to, you can write into the live chats if you have a question, um, or you can call in 1-800-930-2819. We are talking about Archangel Zadkiel, how Zadkiel can help us. Now, if you want to clear, I want to just quickly remind you, if you want to clear, you can do that as you're listening to the show. Just as I'm going through these points, put that intention out there. Yes, I want to transmute that. I want to release that. Think of the color Think of the color violet because that color is just associated with this angel. And through this entire show, you might be quite surprised how you'll feel at the end of the show. And just think what we're going to do when we start to connect today, this afternoon for you guys in the membership. I mean, it's just a beautiful angel to work with. Absolutely. So some of the things that I want to highlight in the show today are about the freedom and how he helps you. And he has a beautiful perspective uh, about this. It's a message from Zadkiel that just brings this to light. It just makes sense. What we're striving to achieve, what we keep trying to do, what we need to just, you know, wait a minute, stop and realize it and see it from a different perspective. So these are some of the things I'm going to be talking about today. And just in depth a little bit more about each of these things like forgiveness, um, clearing, how this angel can help you and just the specifics of it. So with that, I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take a caller and we'll just start diving in to who is Archangel Zadkiel. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
Welcome back to the show. We're talking about who is Archangel Zadkiel and how Zadkiel can help you, especially right now with the energies that are flowing in, to help us find our freedom, to help us really connect, and to just release all that pain. So with that, let's see, we just did a little bit of that intro, so let's bring on the caller that's been waiting. Uh, Deborah from Missouri, welcome to the show. Hi, hi, Jan. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Good. So, what do we got going on for you today? Well, what I've been, what I've noticed, and I've noticed this for a while, is that when I'm around negative people, I I don't like it, and when I'm talking to somebody on the phone, and um, especially my sister when she's talking about people with different um, stuff going on with them and they go through all this and then they die. And then, and also that um, I will say to her, well, I don't want to hear it. And she'll just keep on talking and she just won't <laughs> change the subject and decide to just walk and, you know, saying I got to go or walk away. Is mm -hmm. there anything that what angels are talking to me and what I can do about it? Uh yeah, that's a, uh, yeah, okay. It, it's, it's challenging sometimes when it's a relative, but with anybody, relative or not, uh, whenever you find that you're going to be engaging or having conversation or it sounds like just listening from the way you described it. <laughs> um, right, listening, right, yeah. Yeah, she's not really hearing back. Um, that you've said stop, you know, or you need to go. And that, that happens with people that are desperate sometimes. And I, that's a tough word to use, but sometimes we're, they're just starving for a vibration. But what you want to do is shield up around somebody like that. I mean, it, it's very common to have to do that around family. If you're feeling empathic, you're trying to be polite. You're trying to be there. And at the same time, self-love has to kick in. We can't help anybody if we're completely drained and you have to shield up. So I would say, you know, Michael, of course, always works with you. Zadkiel, Zadkiel is one to ask, literally, the, you know, it's interesting that this comes up because this angel radiates love. This angel just radiates forgiveness, mercy, and it's like mercy from like letting go of the pain. But you can send a prayer for your sister, you can't choose for her. But if she's in that space where she's got to sort it out, a lot of people are just reaching outside of themselves for, for comfort. You don't have to, you know, and you're saying that, is there anything else I can do? You definitely want to be shielding up whenever you're around her and limit the exposure if it's starting to drain. And sometimes we have to put the no in there a little bit more stern don't want to do that either. I don't like to have to be that way either. But sometimes when you are just, I call it too nice. Sometimes it just keeps draining or it just feels like it's steamrolling over you. That's what it sounds like you're describing. Is that making sense? Is that, have I got that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. But also I get fear. Fear comes into me pretty and we'll, strong. From the negative energy from her? Is that what you're saying? No, just for what, from what people are talking about. Oh, yeah. See, you need to limit from that because if it's catching, and here's, here, everybody who listened up on this, this one is a good, I'm glad you brought it up because this is one that's a tricky one that can pull the rug out from under us. If you are going into fear by just hearing or watching news or hearing what other people are saying or whatever the topic might be, then you have still some healing to do in regards to that topic. You have some detachment, releasement. Um, you're still attached. You're still connected to what's causing the fear. So as soon as, if there's a cord there, this is energy I'm talking about. So I'm kind of explaining it that way. But if we have some sort of connection to something that upsets us, Every time the topic comes up, we feel anxiety come in. That's what it sounds like you're describing. And that means you yeah. still have an attachment to that. That's a, 
that has nothing to do like with whoever's talking about it. That's, that's within inside you to free yourself inside, which is where Zacchaeus comes in because he's about our inner free, inner freedom and inner freedom comes from releasing that attachment to what affects us. And sometimes we have to just work on that a little bit. We have to practice it. And once you don't feel a flare, when it comes up, you'll know you're detached. And sometimes we have to just continually cut that cord till we realize I'm choosing to let that do that to me. And it's like an intention to choose not to. So Zacchaeus, Michael's good for the shielding and protection, but then Zacchaeus helps you to have mercy within yourself. Like this is causing me pain. This is causing me drain. This is causing me to get tapped into the lower frequency. This is where you want to radiate and release that out, you know, like help him lift you up. Our, you're going to be doing it, but he helps. He supports. So I would work, if I were you, with amethyst crystal and or wear the purple or wear the violet color to remind you that you have a choice in whatever comes your way. You can transmute that. You can change that and send it right back. Is that making sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I appreciate this. Wow. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. It really has nothing to do with your sister or anybody else that's talking about the stuff that's upsetting you. It's about an inner freedom where you're choosing no more. I'm done with that. I'm not doing that anymore. So it's, where, it's an awareness that it's inside, not outside. So the shield can help. Um, being around it so and until because while you're still vulnerable it just keeps coming in so you have to shield up to keep it from from affecting you but then you have to do the inner work so that's what I would be doing so I I want to say thank you for calling in that was a good thing to bring up and it's right in line with what we're talking about today awesome thank you for helping yeah thank you Love Deborah. Thank you very much. Back Right back to you. Bye-bye. Wow. Yeah, that was a good call. That was a good one. And, you know, uh, let's see. We have some other ones. Let me go to the chat. I see a couple there. Let's see. Kelly's asking, hi, Jen. I was wondering if I'm with the right partner. Our relationship seems unbalanced, almost like I'm in the role of being the mother. Do the angels have any guidance on how I can bring balance? Mm. Well, it doesn't sound like you want a mother-child relationship it, from what I'm reading there. So that's what I, you know, when you go, okay, this is a mother-child relationship. No, I don't want to be the mother. You want a different kind of relationship. Um, if it feels unbalanced, then it probably is. I'm going to be honest with you. It probably is. So it takes individuals in the relationship to choose to bring, you know, their part to the table. If you feel like you're the only one doing that, then it might be time for you to make some decisions. So that one is just literally clear cut. Michael's all about, no, if it's, if it's doing that, no, you know, but at the same time, I'm not saying break it off. I'm saying if the other party isn't willing to come to the table and it's not meeting your needs, then that's kind of the question. What is it that I need to let go of that's not bringing me, you know, the highest, you know, support or, you know, the needs aren't met, then the needs aren't met. It's really kind of like bottom line. And I'm sounding kind of direct with that, but it's the truth because a lot of times we tolerate relationships that drain us because we're being, being too nice. Like I was talking about earlier. And then it's a self-love issue. It's we're not loving ourselves enough enough to cut ties with something that isn't working. So that is the truth of that one. And I hope that that kind of just kind of validates to you what I think you already know, Kelly. It really does seem like that. So uh, let's see what else we have. Um, uh, David is saying, hope everyone is feeling positive today. Well, I know I am. 
and he obviously is, and I love that. So he's brought that vibe in, and we're going to work with that today. I have a strong sense of looking forward to upcoming days and weeks. Good for you, and you're sharing that vibration. He's over there just shining bright, and I love it. That's uplifting. Thank you for bringing that in, David. Hope you can have that experience as well. Brings a certain peace that I am enjoying. Awesome. I love it. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Finally, I get to catch a bit of your show again. This month is a little tough. Hoping things calm down in April. Mm, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this, this month and last month, it really, it's one of those big shifts of energy that all of a sudden there's just this catalyst of events that happen. You see it everywhere out there, right? But you, you see it in your own life too. And we're right in the midst of some really strong energy right now. So you're right in, right on, you're right in the pocket with it. Hello to Beth. Good to see you, Beth. Big love and hugs back to you too. You're welcome, Kelly. You're absolutely welcome. And, um, Let's see, we have one more. We have uh, Yuri is saying, I have difficulty forgiving my father. I went back to live with my parents temporarily and old wounds get triggered. Yeah, see, I think you're relating what we were just, yeah. I already tried plenty of psychotherapy work, energy healing and clearing. Well, you know, Zachiel might be just the ticket for you to work with this angel specifically. Um, because it's our parents or family, like we're talking about family, forgiveness is tough when it's coming from a deep history like that. We're talking about the deep wounds, really deep wounds. And if it's triggering, energetically, we have an attachment, that cord attachment. So that's, yeah, you know, I, you know, I know you're trying to write karmic release in the Akasha. Well, you've tried it all. This is some big stuff. This might be layers. Okay, now I'm starting to get an understanding a little bit better about this. I've tried cord cutting, karmic release in the Akashics, Reiki, inner child therapy. Okay, gotcha. This sounds like there's layers and it goes probably even into previous lifetimes if you are willing to explore that. I don't know if you believe in that or not. Not everybody does, but I more I look into it, the more it makes sense. But does it really matter? We just know there's a lot of layers to an onion, right? This sounds like something was pretty traumatic. It's an extreme deep pain. A few weeks ago, I spoke about Sharon um, that was bringing in some energy that opens up the deep soul wounds that need healing, the karmic trauma this sounds like this might be in that category where it's so it's a very deep wound. And because it seems like I'm doing everything to just get rid of it, I want to get rid of it. I get that. At the same time, the mind and the true attachment from within the soul or the heart, that's what I think you're feeling. You're like, I know what I want. I can't quite get it to do that because then it re-triggers. And if it's if it's deep traumas that constantly get re-triggered when you're back and honestly you don't have to be around anybody that you're forgiving the forgiveness is really for you to release and put the bag of weight down that's hurting and so i'm saying a lot to you because that's a heavy one that you're talking about and patience with yourself and that you know that inner patience is going to help you but sometimes our body, is, our mind and psyche protects itself by allowing us to release a little at a time because it's that painful. You know, we don't have to go into what it was, but I'm just saying maybe it's give yourself a little bit of, you know, cut yourself some slack because it's, it's not like done and, it, and you're, it's it forever. We will continually go through layers. Um, I don't ever forget my past pains and traumas, but I know that when I finally de disconnected from them and finally felt that freedom inside, it completely changed how it affected me. And when something still does, and I find that it's upsetting me like that, I'm limiting the exposure immediately. For you, Yuri, when it comes to energy, the shielding would be perfect for you if you have to be around these members that, that do this to you, 
you need to have the shield up. You need to have that protection up before you even go anywhere near that um, until it doesn't affect you anymore. We do that to protect it from just pounding us because there still seems to be a sense of they have the power over you. And in reality, nobody has it unless we give it to them. It comes from inside. So yeah, that's a big one. And I'm giving you a quick answer on a show and I'm giving you as much as I can, but I hope some of that helps you to ease up on yourself. Zadkiel, now let me go into some things about Zadkiel and why this is gonna help. Like Deb, Deborah, where she was talking about that. Yuri, what he's talking about. Anybody going through something that's painful like that. Zadkiel is, like I said, when it comes to the forgiveness and releasing, he helps you with that. Now, let me go into the negative energy and the, you know, that he's very good at taking the energy and changing it. If, think about water. It changes form. It can be ice cubes. It can be liquid. It can be steam. That's just, if you thought of that as energy, it's changing form. It's redirecting it, so to speak, because there's something I can do with ice that I can't do when it's liquid. There's something I can do with steam that I can't do, you know, when it's in the other forms. Uh, forgiveness, you see, helps you release. And you really, we, sometimes we have to release by forgiving ourselves first. When we forgive ourselves for allowing all of that to happen to us, like, you know, when you're a child, this is where it gets tricky because when we're children, we're supposed to listen to our parents and we're supposed to, you know, do what we're told. And now we're adults and we're upset that we let anybody do any of that to us. You know, this is just example, guys. That's when we're having to drop the beliefs. Now, what do you mean by beliefs? We believe this. We believe this, not a belief like religion. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about your beliefs about anything. You believe this is always going to happen every time I go in my parents' house, for example. This is going to trigger me every single time. You believe that? That would be something to narrow down. And because when I'm really working with something difficult, I start pinpointing and I get down into it deeper and more detailed. And it's like, okay, I'm believing that it's going to trigger me before I even go over there. That's a belief to shift. And so then I would shield up. I'm going to go, I would claim, nope, my intention is to go in there, stay shielded, be there for a small amount of time and get out and then clear my energy when I'm out. Boom, done. And when I started working, it takes, takes a little extra effort because it's like high maintenance. It feels like high maintenance. Like I got to do this every time I'm around them. Yeah, sometimes you do with something that toxic to you. What's toxic to you may or may not be toxic to someone else. So it works that way. Now, um, when we release in forgiveness of ourself, like emotions, like fear, the anger that it can cause and we're frustrated, we get angry at ourselves a lot because it got us again. We have to forgive that. We have to accept these parts of us that are feeling that. And it's letting you know where there's still some healing to, to happen, to release. Um, it's also going to help you. Once you forgive you, guess what happens? You've transmuted that negative energy to a positive. Yeah. And it has absolutely nothing to do with anybody else. That's what gets tricky. We have to bring it back inside ourselves. Um, one of the things, let me go into some of this now about uh, the freedom. One of the things about the freedom, it is inside. It's not outside of you. It's not. It's just not. When you have freedom to pursue who you really are, to follow your dreams, to follow the way you want to connect with the divine, whether it's a religion, a denomination, the way I do it, the way we do here. I, I'm not even here to tell you how to do that. I'm here to share what I know and what I'm passionate about and what I experience. And 
here's the thing when you can have freedom to live within yourself your personal spiritual preference life that opens a floodgate for love then we go through um, we have to let other people do that too and you may if you came from something that really affected you with a belief system like that in spiritual practices you know it's not even about them either it's like I'm so angry at this I'm angry at the church I'm angry at this or that um, I went you know I get that I, I had that happen now it's just like yeah that's just outside of myself that has nothing to do with my inner freedom just like if somebody was trying to harm me or or say things that were upsetting me that has nothing to do with my inner freedom that's outside of me that's what their issue is that's theirs to figure out not mine if they have a problem with me you know that famous saying again Wayne Dyer used to say it all the time I am not your opinion of me you need to believe that think about that one if you have to write it down I love that saying and it helps bring it back into perspective I am not your opinion of me right so I want you to think about that that is so powerful that is so powerful now let's see Shadana is asking Dr. Jen, how do I work with this angel regarding old patterns belief of lack in finances? I think I actually have a fear of success. Yeah, I would tend to see why, where you're coming to that conclusion and old patterns and beliefs, the patterns and beliefs. One of the things with the energy of March, which Zadkiel can help with, okay? Zadkiel can help is what here it is what's true freedom true freedom is you don't have to keep the beliefs that you were going with you don't have to have the fear of success you don't have to feel that you have to keep doing it the old way and I know that some of you are just that is just so hard to change that up some of us have got like cornerstones in an old foundation that cannot that you just feel like you can't uproot them they feel like they're so embedded that you cannot change it and I understand that I know that the the obstacles come in like that fear of success let me let me throw some things out there when when you're afraid of success it's afraid of taking on more responsibility oh I'm gonna be so busy or I'm gonna be now I'm gonna be st is it a fear of success or a fear of obligation or that you'll feel trapped and you can't get out once you're in I gotta say that I ha I just have to ask because that's what I was picking up and it's you know when we look at like well what what's going through your mind about oh you know it's you know sometimes we just feel like it's it's the life is simpler I don't have to have it so complicated if I start down that then how am I going you know am I going to be able to handle that load you know that is self-doubt for one but it's also can feel like an entrapment to us if we have issues with feeling trapped and I want to bring that up does that seem to trigger like I just don't want to feel stuck or I can't get back out if I don't want to stay in it I have to ask so that one is a little bit weird but I did want to ask and I want to leave for a one moment here I'm gonna take a quick break and then we'll come back and wrap the show up yeah Shadana just said obligation <laughs> okay so I think we just pinged again didn't we I'm gonna take the quick break so I can catch my breath here and when we come back we're gonna go diving in a little bit more we have a few more minutes left in the show guys we're getting in deep and this is good stuff Zachiel has been here with us the whole time I asked him to be and he is coming through we are uncovering some stuff that has been getting in the way for a lot of us Stay with us. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back after the break.
Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Welcome back. We're in the last segment. I have a few minutes, so I have a few things I want to touch on about Zadkiel. Really in the message that he wanted me to bring to you today that should answer some of the other questions going on because I'm running out of time. First of all, what is the true freedom? And this is all from Zadkiel. It's honestly not about your beliefs or traditions or whatever it is you do in the moment and the things that are tricking you up or whatever. It's about being willing to change it up, to express, to find a new way, to kind of come up with it as you go. And we're in a place of energy right now that is really bringing that to the table where the way you used to do something, we have opportunity to explore new ways of doing it better. Maybe just don't do it that way at all anymore. Maybe just change that completely. Things you used to do or feel like that was set in stone, not so much anymore. So that right there, whether it's if you believe you, if you believe you have like you'll never be successful or you're afraid of the success or you feel like, am I ever going to connect with an angel? Yes, you're going to with the belief shifting. So beliefs are coming from programming, the programming within the mind. Okay. You have the ego side that runs the programs like a computer. Then we have our spirit soul that that's the creative side that's ready to change it up and look at something new and has no boundaries. That's where the freedom is. It's not going to be in something that's programmed to always be a certain way and 
doesn't change unless you upgrade your computer. You do the upgrade design in the soul side and then you can put it over into the programming and upgrade it. And then you just keep doing that as you need an upgrade. If you think of it that way, it kind of is easier to wrap your brain around. Now, there's obstacles that happen in the journey, okay? This is still coming from Zadkiel. There's obstacles that come up in your pursuit of your freedom. It challenges, it shows you, I didn't realize that was in my way. I've got to find a way around that. Remember the Lao, the Lao Tzu, the Tao Te Ching, the water finds a way around the rock. See? Change the water from frozen ice cubes to water. Now it can move around. See? It, just think, guys. Think about it. And that's what I'm saying. Anything that comes from outside of you, outside forces, whatever it is that wants you to conform to what they want you to do, tell you you're wrong. You're doing it wrong. Do it this way. Do it that way. They want, they, there's people that'll say a lot of things to you, people that love you because they want you to be okay because they're afraid. This is coming from their fear that you're not okay. But if you know you're okay and your way is working for you, you have to stand up in that and believe that you can do that. And that is usually where the water needs to find a way around the rock, so to speak, to get things moving and flowing. And, you know, um, another one would be just the ego mind. The ego mind is what's usually the trickster here that just makes you second guess and doubt because it doesn't understand what you're trying to create because it hasn't been upgraded with that program yet, if you think of it that way. It will challenge you. It will try to keep you in conforming into its box. It's really not the bad guy, but it's where the fear resides. It doesn't understand. It just can't relate past the boundary lines. And your soul is exploding right now, really wanting to run free. So what, in a way, Every day when I feel that come up, and it will, it doesn't matter how much spiritual practice you do, you'll feel that ego within you. And when I feel it, I just go, you know what? I know you're scared. It's kind of like I do that. I know you're scared, but we're going to try it a different way and let's work together. And I found that that helps my mind ease into something new that I'm trying. And sometimes I'm nervous. You know, I'm really nervous to do it, but then you know, whoa, okay, but no, I can do this different, and I really want to do this different. I mean, when you start to lose the excitement and the joy and the enthusiasm for life and the things that you're doing, more than likely it's time to change it up. And what happens? We stay in that for so long because it's a comfort zone. We just, we know what to expect. We know that's the way we've always done it, and it worked. Mm. This whole experience that we have going on right now, we all chose to be here to do it. And we all chose to somewhat dive in the deep end with this is what's going on. And we all have our unique things that we're working out. Whether it's healing and releasing, forgiving, Zadkiel is about the love and joy in your life that flows when you are living in your truth and your freedom. That's, all, that's on the soul side. Remember, it's probably the programming, the old beliefs. Programming, beliefs, that's kind of the same thing. Think of it that way. If you thought, okay, all these beliefs and all these things that have me stuck are just an old program, let me go look for an upgrade. I mean, honestly, if you use that computer analogy, it really helps. Use the water ice steam. What do I need here? What do I need? Do I need it to flow around a rock? Do I need to block and stop it? Do I need to have a shield? I mean, they'll, you know, or do I need to float up and free and escape this area? And, you know, it, it's really not escape like a void. It's freedom to fly and transmute into something completely different is what the steam is to me with that. So, you know, this just keeps going on and on because Zachiel, he really wanted me to say, start with self-forgiveness. Um, one of the things is 
forgiving when you're angry at yourself because it upset you again if you got into something just stop right there in your tracks and go you know what that's the old programming to just be so hard on myself I don't need to be hard on myself anymore you're not who you were yesterday you're not who you were five minutes ago we're continually growing and evolving you're not who you were when the trauma happened you're who you are today so yeah you you let it go that way you might be quite surprised how much that alone will change it for you it will change it a lot now I I'm running out of time here I'm gonna to have to go in a minute but let me see all you have to do when you're working with any angel and this is something I wanted to say in general working with any angel you can just ask with intention can you come please please help me At the same time there's a three step that I've I've gone over before in previous shows but I'm gonna refresh really quick with angels you don't have to ask and 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 they are aspects of the divine that come and assist you so really you can ask the divine if that's your preference because some people are like I don't want to pray to an angel it's not praying to an angel it's not worshiping an angel angels are aspects of God of the divine we're all part of this one cloth really you're you're speaking to a part that can assist you with where you feel stuck and so if you're more comfortable saying God or source or I need divine help can you send what I need well they're not gonna send it in and swoop you off your feet and just do it for you but they will gently nudge you you will start to feel passion stirring up from within to change something or explore something or study something new or just end something anything for example when you work with Raphael if you want to uh, work on your health because he's a he's more about health and physical you know physician you know like uh, healing uh, he'll just gently nudge you like to start that exercise program or change that diet you know and it's not gonna make you do it it's not gonna force you you have freedom inside to choose to follow that suggestion that's coming from within you and and that alone can be very freeing when you really just start to tap into that you can use crystals that are associated with the angels in particular this one Zadkiel I would suggest amethyst it's a beautiful crystal you can find small ones big ones if you enjoy that crystals magnify the energy and the connection it's kind of like an antenna to make it a stronger signal that's how a crystal works it's not this enchanted you know magical thing but it does seem like quartz crystal they use it in computer technology all the time it does hold and, and it does seem to magnify it's in watches I mean it works with energy so crystals work uh, this one in particular likes the violet so amethyst is a good one for that um, also clearing your energy just general practices like once a day wash your day away like shower at night before you lay down to go to sleep shower take your salt baths clear the energy that you may have absorbed that day these are general physical practices that you can use on a daily basis right now we do need to keep that clear you do need to give yourself that five minutes to just close your eyes and meditate and connect yoga can be a very good practice anything gentle uh, just movement okay exercise like walking briskly I mean you don't have to go out there and you know go Charles Atlas or anything you just need to do something what you can do that meets your needs everybody's different and with that I wish you all much love I'm out of time I've got to go one o'clock guys angel retreat members we're going to be working on connecting together with Zadkiel in a group that's 1 p.m. you can check your membership for how to join that zoom call that's today at 1 p.m. Eastern I want to say thank you to everyone that's joined the show today and we will see you next time here on the Jen Royster show namaste You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life.
Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.